It's an AMC screen on scene showing, which means I have no idea what movie I'm about to watch. I have a prediction of what movie it is. I think it's Challengers. So we'll find out. Welcome to Movie Health Community, the internet's number one source of health warnings at the movies. Whatever this movie is, we'll get to a review of it in just a minute. The movie turned out to be not Challengers. It was the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare. Now let's answer the question everybody's here to ask. Is this movie safe for photosensitive audiences? The answer is most of it is, but there are some action scenes that are pretty iffy. The one main offender in this movie is automatic weapons with bright muzzle flashes that create strobe effects. One of the last action scenes has this happening at night. There's an earlier scene that has it happening during the day, and these are all very bright and they flash very fast. There are scenes where there are bombings, these explosions create some minor strobe effects, and they also cause a flicker of lights whenever they happen. So for flashing lights, we are giving the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare a 7 out of 10. The biggest motion risk on this movie is that a lot of it takes place on a boat that is rocking on the ocean. And then the only trigger warning I have, besides the fact that there's some bloody violence in this movie that gives it the R rating, is Nazi imagery. There are Nazis in this movie. Now, is this movie any good? Guy Ritchie is really hit and miss for me, and I gotta say this was probably a bit of a miss. I feel like this is not a movie I'm going to be thinking about even next week. There are two branches of the plot of this movie. One involving Henry Cavill and his crew, the other involving a mission with Eitza Gonzalez. The mission with Eitza Gonzalez, I'd say about a quarter of that is pretty good. And on the side with Henry Cavill, I'd say about three quarters of that are pretty good. So about half of this movie is good watching between the best of those two branches of the movie. But this movie just goes kind of slow. And for something as exciting of an idea as a Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare, where there are people in World War II fighting without following typical rules of engagement, that should be a much more exciting premise than the movie that we ended up getting. So I am going to give the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare a C. Thank you so much to our readers on Tumblr and Facebook, and as always, an extra special thanks to our patrons over on our Patreon page whose names are scrolling on the screen like credits right now. As a reminder, nothing produced by Movie Health Community is medical advice, nor has any of it ever been reviewed by any medical professionals. Be sure to leave a like on this video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon if you want to be notified when we post new videos, and leave a comment if you have anything to add to this discourse, especially if you disagree with anything I've said. We love hearing from you. And as always, stay safe at the movies.